A kid makes a wish at a birthday party. His wish was for his dad to stop lying. At that time, Carrie slept with his female boss for a promotion. After it was over, his sets. I've had better. <laughs> Something that made her angry. In the elevator, Carrie meets his new neighbor. Good at lying, Carrie was ready to compliment his pretty neighbor. But he says what all men say in their hearts. New in the building? Yeah, I just moved in Monday. Oh, you like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. Oh. Mama! He meets a beggar on his way to work. When he opened his mouth, he spoke from his heart. Because I believe you will buy booze with it. I just want to get from my car to the office without being confronted by the decay of Western society. Plus, I'm cheap. Woo! Jerk off! His ex-wife called to ask why he hadn't been at his son's birthday party. Carrie was about to tell her that he had found a new girlfriend, but he spoke from the heart. I was certain with settle and it didn't and i have to go to court this afternoon right it's true i really want to see max today how about that i really do uh-huh but things just keep coming up at the last minute right yes but this time it's different i see and how is that now i'm telling the truth and last night you weren't no well what were you doing having sex well i hope that it was with someone very special no, see, that's the thing. I don't even like her, but she's a partner, and I thought I could help my career by making her squeal. Oh. What's wrong with me? I'm getting what I deserve. I'm reaping what I sow. I'm... Carrie drove to explain to his ex-wife. He was speeding and ran a red light. A traffic cop stopped him before the cop could say anything. Carrie told the cop about all his offenses. You know why I pulled you over? Depends on how long you were following me. Why don't we just take it from the top? Here goes. I sped. I followed too closely. I ran a stop sign. I almost hit a Chevy. I sped some more. I failed to yield at a crosswalk. I changed lanes in the intersection. I changed lanes without signaling while running a red light and speeding. Is that all? No. I have unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> Be gentle. Carrie told the secretary that he could only tell the truth now. She doesn't believe him. She is ready to test him. She asks him why he won't give her a raise. Carrie tells her the real reason. He wouldn't give me one. Of Incredibly. Them. You, you would give it to me out of your own pocket. And you said the company would not allow it because it would create jealousy among the other secretaries. Now, was that true or did you just not want to pony up the dough? The secretary quits in a huff. Carrie's secret is discovered by the lady boss. She took him to the conference room and asked him to tell the shortcomings of the chairman. When he did, he told the truth. He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless, steaming pile of cow dung. <sighs> Figuratively speaking. He thought he was in trouble, but the humorous chairman asked him to tell the shortcomings of others. <laughs> That's the funniest damn thing I've ever heard! You're a real card, Reed. I love a good roast! <laughs> Do Simmons! Simmons is old! <laughs> He should have been out of the game years ago, but he can't stay home because he hates his wife. <laughs> You've met her at the Christmas parties. She's the one that gets plastered and calls him a retard. <laughs> and you, Tom, you're the biggest brown nose I've ever seen. You get your head so far up Mr. Allen's ass, I can't tell where you end and he begins. <laughs> You have bad breath caused by gingivitis. You couldn't get a porn star off. Your hairpiece looks like something that was killed crossing the highway. I don't know whether to comb it or scrape it off with a shovel and bury it in the line. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Idiot! Wimp! Degenerate! The result, the chairman praised Carrie for his humor and energy.
which the company needed. In I'll see you later, dickhead! <laughs> In the end, Kerry has to flirt with his female boss.